Hi there. So recently I've made a video where I was talking about how we can defeat, and defeat entities, reptilians, and our beings with love. Where you have to be in a high frequency, and that is the only way to harm them. But there is like a half comments like, you know, hey, so if they're coming to invade Earth and eat us, and so we don't fight them in a real physical way, but just like, you know, hey, here's some love, I love you and all this stuff, how that's gonna work? So I feel like we have to make a difference. We have to make a difference or a sort of understanding of who are we fighting, who are they, and what are some of the ways to fight. Just because, you know, I'm saying give love and stuff, it doesn't mean in general to absolutely everyone. Though, of course, it does help, but it, it really depends on the situation, and, I, and I'm not saying to give away your powers and just, like, turn the other cheek when someone's beating the shit out of you, you know? <laughs> Don't do that. So, here's the thing. Um, I guess we can start from the physical world, like, right now, right now we're, on our, we're on Earth, so we have different issues. We have, for, for example, right now, our big thing, coronavirus, pandemic, blah blah blah, different stuff. But also, like, you know, hey, the government is doing this, there's pedophiles, there's a lead, there's, um, you know, bad people, there's killers, murderers, other stuff. When they're coming to get you, you don't turn on their cheek. You don't just, like, kiss love, my baby, like, you know, just kill me now, I love you. That doesn't work. Uh, so, depending on who our enemies is, if they're in the physical world, the fight is on a whole different level. Reptilians and Archons and all the ones that control and dominate and stuff, they're smart. But they're not killers. They don't want war because they're gonna lose their assets. On here, on Earth, where we are, right now, or some of us are, the fight is different. We are fighting on a much lower level, and the intelligence of the fight is also lower. And of course, here we have tons of different factions. It's not just like Reptilians, and if Reptilian goal is to keep us imprisoned and make sure they can feed off from us. Why is there Agenda 21, Agenda 20, like 2030, and why are they trying to cause depopulation? Why are they killing off humanity? Why is that happening? It's because we have different factions playing here on Earth, we have different groups, and they might have a similar goal, like control humanity, or like, but their understanding will be different. Those that are higher, their game is much bigger. Those that are lower, they're understanding everything differently. So, when we're talking about fighting back, what can we do? What can we do to win the fight? I'm not an expert here on Earth, like, I haven't done much of things myself, except we know about Monsanto, we know about certain companies that, you know, just are squeezing the money out of people, and the products that they give are not actually healthy, they're not good, and, you know, the companies, they're killing out the small businesses. So, my first step, you know, as a kid, like, or the way, like, when I started learning about what was going on, was to stop being in service or sort of supporting those companies. If um, if I started like doing the research and like you know okay here's my favorite companies I love chocolate but most of the chocolate makers like you know oh we have Snickers we have other like Nestle's and stuff they they have tons of brands but eventually there's like five or six corporations controlling all all the stuff all like you know products we have and you're like hey how's that fitting you know so if we're fighting those people if we're fighting the forces that you know um, are just like you know just milking us and also giving us the worst stuff possible. Like, you know, I just like read the thing on my Discord channel, like, you know, hey, the subway, like, people think it's good, like, you know, it's fresh stuff. No, like, it has the DMHO or something. And it's like literally same same thing that goes into the yoga mats and, like, you know, fire, st fire extinguishers and other stuff. Like, yeah, that's not good for you. So my first step was, like, you know, to stop consuming the things that support the companies. And that was, like, cut out all the junk food. Cut out all the, like, you know, as a kid I left, like, gummy beers or, like, uh, chips and sodas and different stuff. That was out of the list. Okay, you turn on TV. Like, there's news and they're brainwashing people. Turn off that stuff. Stop watching it. You know, there are Hollywood movies where we have uh, bigger pedophiles or people, like, actually, like, doing bad things profiting from you. Stop watching their stuff. Stop going to cinema. Stop going, like, supporting their movies. And for me... It was easy enough, because I was not a big fan of movies, I did not have the much of interest in that stuff, and I cut out, like, you know, consuming certain things, watching, like, t I, I haven't turned on TV for, like, a long, long time. And my watch of TV would be, like, if I engage with my family, and I'm at my parents' place, I like, go to say hello to them and stuff, and they're watching news or something, like, that's the only stuff, like, as I'm walking, like, by and, like, talking to them, TV might be on the background, but it's not me, like, you know, turning on and consuming, like, oh... Okay, like, they're not going to tell you anything good about it. So, there's that stuff. But one of the bigger things, like, taxation is theft. And if all the people in the world 
stop paying taxes. They can't trust everyone. And, you know, that's that's where we get our powers back. But that's where the thing is. We have to be collective. We have to be all together. It's like... Um, kids running away from school like you know oh there's that class we don't want to be in there like you know it's, it's the last lesson we're just gonna like run home and everyone's like yeah let's go let's go home and there's two people who tried like you know pretend that they're gonna run away and then keep coming back like you know hey teacher everyone run away but i'm the only one who wanted to stay and then they get a better mark and they get like you know, hey yeah well done little boy and they get approval or something and then you know the class would probably would beat them up or like you know start like the, their relationship would change but there's always a few people who Pretend like, you know, they're gonna play, but they want to be heroes, they want to get approval, uh, they want to get, like, more of an um, upgrade, like, you know, or just, like, feel good about themselves. They want to they break the laws, they're afraid of that stuff. And those people, <laughs> that's where the problem begins. So, you know, waking up people about what's going on, telling them, like, you know, how it is. And the more education we have about what's going on, like, you know, about taxation, like, how it's not supposed to be there, and, you know how they're like messing with us like you know the whole thing about vaccines and just the way they're controlling the world if we're not playing by those rules if we stop uh, supporting companies that are actually not good for us for example if the if the whole humanity stopped eating meat for a month industries would die out like you know the, those industries or corporations that are milking the stuff and trying to just like profit from it if everyone would stop consuming meat products and dairy products for quite a while they would have to close down or enough, they, they have plenty of money, but like, you know, come on. We have articles where cows were made to eat Skittles, those like sour candies, because it was more cheaper than corn at some point. And like, you know, you can like read up on like uh, articles and like, you know, oh yeah, I just got there, like, so your milk will be more yummy. <laughs> or like, you know, we have antibiotics and stuff in milk. And that's, that's fine, like, everyone needs antibiotics, you know, it's awful. Like, no, it's gonna kill the good and the bad stuff in your body, so you're gonna be more susceptible to diseases and stuff. So, like, there's a lot of that stuff. And I believe that if more people knew what's going on, and they have more had more information, and we're doing it together, not like, you know, hey, I'm not gonna pay taxes, and one of you stop doing it now, you will get arrested, you will get charges, you will get different things. If the whole humanity stops doing that, they cannot do anything. If everyone stops playing by the rules, they can't do stuff. And the people have the power. The government is supposed to be for the people. Not controlling them, supporting them, helping them to thrive and live. So, over here, where our enemies, or people that are controlling us, are different, we have to play the game differently, but our awareness has to be different. Our way of fighting has to be different. Another case scenario, we have uh, invaders coming in here trying to kill Earth, or like, you know, like just kill everyone. This is not where you give them love. You know that you're being attacked, and you know, like in, in I think Aikido or like whatever martial arts you're learning, the idea of martial arts is to protect yourself and people around you if like if something happens, but never to attack and kill someone. So having that knowledge, we know how to protect ourselves and we can fight back. So if someone comes to kill your family, you protect them. You don't like you don't necessarily target other people. Like yeah, I'm gonna kill you, but. You know, if we have, like, a worst-case scenario, there are some beings coming out, coming down on Earth trying to kill us out, uh, just defend yourself. Like, don't turn the other cheek. Like, of course, like, you know, Jesus says, like, turn the other cheek and stuff, be kind. And and we have to remember that there are entities and actually, like, all these ETs and multidimensional beings, they're the ones actually playing the parts of gods. They're the ones trying to brainwash us into believing that those things are good. Oh yeah, reincarnate. Oh yeah, like do this sort of thing. Karma is like karma. We have to play by karma. Turn the other cheek and like tons of these laws and like uh, beliefs that are controlling people more than are serving them. And it all would be good if people were aware of it and like you know were able to read between the lines and understand it. But when everyone is fi like um, following the belief blindly without thinking or questioning anything, that's where the problem begins. So we have things like, you know, uh, karma. It's not just like, oh yeah, if, if I do a bad thing, something bad will happen, but like more of a bigger thing. If you kill someone, like you will have to reincarnate as a tree or something else. That is not true. Unless you start believing it. Unless you start like, you know, oh, if, if I do this, I will come back as a tree or a puppy or something else. Uh, the more you believe into it, the more you buy into a belief, the more it's going to happen. So... Like, there, there's, like, these, there are these scenarios that, like, I think of saying, like, or, like, to answer the question that someone wrote. Um, depending on who our enemies enemies are, we have to change the way we fight. But then, everything here on Earth, it's a small game. It's a very small game. 
for very low intelligence with very little rules. The thing that we have out there in the multiverse, that's where the real stuff is going on. We have galactic wars, we have different things going, and, you know, this is a whole different thing. When the beings out there, um, I was like talking to one of like some of my viewers, like, you know, hey, the soul cannot be captured, like, you know, you, you just cannot trap that. But we have to remember that um, all we are, like, you and me and everyone else, we're awareness. We are just point of view. We're consciousness. We're not something. Until to the point where we start believing, like, you know, hey, the awareness starts uh, identifying itself with being something, with being a uh, soul with being a body, with being a Kvila, or Richard, or Mark, or John, or someone else. And once we start identifying with a specific name, with a specific body, the awareness that will perceive the experience, the feeling states, the other things, and will start buying into idea that it's not everything and nothing all at once, but it is something, one spe like specific thing that can always be changed and, and stuff like that. So when we talk about Soul Trap, for example, it's not like, you know, you are stuck as, as, a, as a body there. But once the awareness buys the idea that it is something else, like, awareness is just a point of view. It doesn't even have the body. It doesn't have the essence. It's like, it's, it's a pure energy, for example. And on the other terms, the energy can be trapped. The, kind of like, the awareness and consciousness of that will, like, I am the body, and you will manifest the body, and the body can be trapped. So once awareness buys into the idea and starts identifying with being something then just the awareness, that's where you can get trapped and like be messed with. So there's a lot of ways to try like play with us. But all of that, this is not the material world. There is no matter. When we go into the astral, you can be in the world where you can like, you know, pick up stuff. Like, oh, like look, I'm in the astral world, there's a cup, and I'm picking it and like, oh, it's kinda cold, or maybe it's hot, and you can drink and stuff. You will experience everything. And you will feel everything exactly like on Earth. Like, except even even better, even like more of a perception. So all the senses will be there. You'll be able to hear and taste and like, you know, and, and see and touch and like, you know, all of those things. But you won't be able to tell the difference. Un unless, you know, like you, you can enhance it and stuff. So all of you can experience like, you know, sitting on the couch making a video or doing something else. And you'll feel like, oh, it's real, like, you know, I can totally feel it. But you have to remember, the astral is not made out of matter. It's not the physical material. But you're still able to feel it all. That's a whole different level. We're not playing with beings, realms and places and dimensions and different things that have matter. It's all part of our imagination, our creation. And we tune into it. So imagination cannot be hit. Creation, like you know, that you imagine and visualization cannot be felt. But we're when we're out there. You have all the feeling states, you have all the perception. You can feel the impact when someone hits you. You can block out the pain and like uh, it's not gonna exist unless you wanna like make it like unless you wanna feel it. And you can literally engage in a fight or like you know be hit by a car or fly through objects and like you know if there's a mountain or a tree and you can fly right through it. You will feel the impact. You will feel like there's a bunch of energy and like whoa that was dense and harsh. Like whoa. That's gonna be like very powerful. But there is no material thing. Because you can literally just like shove your hand through like objects. And it's energy. It's pure like, you know, just like awareness and consciousness everywhere. So you're like shoving your arm through something. You're able to feel it. Able to feel every single particle and density and, and stuff like that. But there is no matter. There is no physical matter. So the idea changes. And when we're talking about like, you know, oh, entities are messing with us. How do we fight back? The fight out there, when entities are messing with us, it's not a physical fight. That's why the emotion and how we react to them, the frequency matters. <laughs> Is that the pun? <laughs> but <laughs> that's that's what's important. Um, and it, like being here on Earth, if it's a physical object, you can punch it, you can do something to it, you can hurt it. When it's astral, when it's imagination, when it's our creation out there and other worlds, when you're tapping into the consciousness and like you know that's all the body, like out of body experience is, it's not like you know you can you can go out and stuff, but you literally are going inside of your consciousness and your creation to experience all that. That's that's all we are. We are consciousness. We are awareness, and we are like tapping into it. And we're everywhere and nowhere, nowhere all at once. We're we can able like we're able to experience billions of lives simultaneously. 
just the, the matter is just like it's important to how you process it all. But it's not physical. There is no matter or like you know little particles and stuff. You can you can feel those things, but it's not physical. And like I have to repeat that stuff because like some people can like mix it up. But but here's the thing. When we have reptilians and entities and different different beings, they're playing on, on a whole different level. So you cannot you cannot shoot them. Like you know, of course you you can shoot them and your imagination will play those things. And like you know, yeah, okay, there's a hole in the reptilian. There's like I just like blew up a spaceship and stuff. That that will happen. But remember the Terminator movie. You know, you're trying to hurt this uh, Terminator robot or like a machine and stuff, and then it splits. And that like uh, metal liquid will split into two and more and more. Like entities can do the same thing. So our fight has to go on a whole new level. Our fight is no more in the physical sense where we are punching and shooting and destroying and killing, but our sense is, our, our fight is energetic. Our fight is like you know, we have to play in the vibrations, like in the frequencies, and that's the bigger part. And that's why it's important to understand it. When stuff happens in your life, you have to handle it, but you also have to have a bigger picture. It's not just fight here on Earth, but the bigger fight is out there. And that's where our energy and vibrations and everything else matters much more than here. Of course, it doesn't matter if it matters here, but, you know, okay, someone's going to rob your house. You cannot, like, I love you. They're not going to go away, you know. But when you literally have an entity, like, you're, you're getting out of body, and everyone that gets out of body becomes a wanted person. Because we're not supposed to leave this farm. We're not supposed to escape this prison. And once you do, you become targeted. So of course they want you out. Because, like, you know, you are supposed to be slaved. They're controlling. You're supposed to be on the radar. And once you get out, boom. Red alert. Like, you know, alarm, alarm. Like, you know, like someone escaped. Let's go see them. And usually, all they can do is scare us. They can't punch us. They can't do stuff. They're not going to try to kill us. They're not into killing. They're into mind controlling and like you know making sure like you know they can brainwash us and stuff reptilians are not killers of course there might be a few but uh they don't like killing they like mind controlling they're like you know okay we don't want to destroy everyone we want them to behave and do as we say so their game is a whole different level and that's why it's important that when they come to scare you you have to be able to confront them not get scared like oh fuck that, that scared me awareness can't perceive that stuff but when you give back love, like, oh, you came here to scare me? Oh, cute being, like, I'm sorry, like, I really love you. And they cannot handle the good stuff. When you're being sorry for them, when you care about them, the frequency is too high for them, and they cannot handle that stuff. That's where you literally push them out of your space with your energy. And that's a whole different fight. When you're able to give love, but, you know, like, okay, we have a galactic war going on. Loving everyone uh, is a thing, but here's the thing. So I had this out-of-body experience where... I get out on the realm, and I'm scanning the surroundings. I'm like, okay, I have this sort of like a, just like a, like a meter, like you know, like a, a tablet or whatever you would call it. And over there in the tablet, it shows the vibration, the surroundings, the energy of the realm. And we're like literally scanning every single being there, like in the, like a animal in, in nature and beings out there, like you know, people and stuff. And like you know, we're seeing like you know the, the thoughts. Like it's, it's like literally um, how entities can monitor twenty four can monitor us twenty four seven. Where they can read our thoughts, where they can affect our feeling state, and like you know, they, they can read our emotions and different things. We have those things happening right now. And so, literally, I was out of body with this sort of scanner, and I could perceive what is the emotional tone level of every being out there. How are they doing, like, in general, all of them together? Are they all disappointed? Are they all mad? Are they all worried? And the level was really good. And so, we were able to like read up like what it is naturally like what's the natural state of the of the realm, and then the being next to me like you know we're on a mission they're like you no know, they were teaching me how does the vibration and frequency work, and so now the being tells me like you know okay so now that as you perceive how this world actually works, how it all is, try to become mad, try to become angry, and like you know I have to get in that and like okay. Um, mm, I'm like, no, I have to find what to be angry about, like, you know, and then direct my attention and really feel it, really be there. And, you know, get negative, like, you know, maybe uh, cussing is not, not that much of a thing, but like directing your hate, your anger, uh, depression, whatever, like, you know, whatever you might be here, I might feel and stuff. And all of a sudden, this realm where you have mountains and hills and normal people and animals and different things, because of my emotions, my vibrations started changing and it was going lower. And with all that, 
the realm right in front of me started changing. The trees started, like, you know, sort of cracking and sort of being destroyed. The mountains shaking, like, volcanoes and, like, fire erupting everywhere. And cities dying out. And all of a sudden, I was in a fireball. It's like an ap apocalyptic place. Everyone's dying out. No life anymore. Everyone's sound. And I'm experiencing that. And, like, I have my scanner. We're, like, talking, like, you know, okay. This is what happens when you direct your attention and it's hanging and it's not good. And the whole normal place with a loving energy and loving beings turned into a whole, like, hellhole. It's like, it was really bad. It was really not nice. And then that, that being like, okay, no stop for a minute. And now try to love everything. Try to feel love, try to raise your vibration. Try to focus on the good stuff. And so I did. And all of a sudden, I'm breathing, I'm doing deep breathing, I'm focusing on the good stuff, I'm trying to raise my vibration. And what happens is fireball, right here where I'm standing and seeing everything, it's turning like, you know, starting to get green again, and everything's like becoming poor. And the more I focus on the positive, the more the air clears out, the more like uh, brighter and like it gets, and everyone in the world starts getting like really high vibration, and everything's sort of even shaking in a place where every single being there wakes up. And you're able to connect with everyone and feel a deep connection. As if like, you know, it's your lover, your best friend, like someone you knew for billions of years, and all of a sudden you become so connected with that place. And feel everyone. It's like being empath, but on steroids. And, and it's like an amazing experience. So that was like we're just one realm. And we were traveling from realm to realm to realm to other places. And here we are. Right in front of Earth. And we're doing the same thing. And like I look at the scanner. And it's so down tone. Everyone's negative. So much worries and stuff. And you know like, whoa. Like this is, this is not good. So on Earth. I believe like, you know, we have those... Uh, photos or events where like a bunch of kids sit down and meditate and stuff. That, that's good. You know, like, okay, we have that happening. If all of us were able to raise a vibration, I believe that the Earth, like, we're changing our reality. Like, Earth, the way it is right now, it's gonna stay where it is. But as we change our vibration, we move into the reality where things are better. So literally, if everyone could be connected, and like, you know, we just get in the really high place, and just do that for a long time. All of us move into the place where it's a different reality, different, like, you know, s same Earth, uh, or, like, parallel Earth, parallel, like, like world and stuff, but, like, you have all that, and all of a sudden, the world is clear again. No chemtrails, no 5G, no fighting, no wars, no governments that control everyone. It's just, like, pure connection between people, which is the way it's supposed to be. So, that's the fight, like, that. that's the idea. When you get out of body, and you have this galactic war going on, and different things, like, you know, like, over here, like, in, in the lower realms, uh, 40, 50, like, you know, there's still wars going on and stuff. And if a bunch of beings come together, and you start getting really positive, it stops. Because the bad guys cannot handle that. And they just cannot be in that place anymore, and they, like, they shake and they, like, they leave, because they can't stand there. They can't stand being there. And that's the plan. If we, as beings, are so powerful, and we can be in a really high vibration, and that's the real bigger game. Like, of course, you can go in the planets and destroy the planet and stuff. Uh, you can deal some damage. But that's temporary, and that doesn't do, that doesn't do much. If you're able to be in a high vibration and, and do more of a thing, that the whole that the game gets a whole, on a whole different level. So that being said, with us being so powerful and strong, and like you know, we can do so much, we become targeted because they know. They're false. They know how they can lose the war, which is exactly why they try to trap us here in the physical body. They keep a, they keep their guardians there, like you know, like a guardian sentinels, beings out there that are, that are gonna cause nightmares. They're gonna scare us. They're gonna plant all these these different beliefs. We have entities and different beings that will affect our thinking state. We have other parties coming here on Earth to make sure that like you know we have wars and like chaos and like all this stuff going on. And all of a sudden, everyone's attention goes into the mundane world. Now it's not living, it's survival. We have to pay off the debts, we have to make enough money, we have to make enough to, to, to make sure like we can uh, take care of our families or different things. And now the whole game, it's not even there. Now it's just trying to survive in this place without knowing who we are, how things were working and stuff. So it all starts like, you know, with learning, with working on yourself. That's, uh, that's eventually how it all is. You have to work on yourself, you have to learn more, you have to know more. and the more you know about yourself, the more you will understand others. And 
the more you can the more you can help yourself, the more you can help others. So eventually, like you know, direct everything to you. In order to be kind, you have to be selfish. So you have to make sure that your life is like good. That you take care of your problems, take care of different things, and then you can give a lot. Because uh, you know, like you can give, 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 but if you don't take care of your stuff, you're gonna like just drain yourself out, and, and that's gonna be just a puddle eventually, you know. So yeah, I just want to talk about it, like, because it's, it's it's a big subject. Like, how do we fight back? It's like it. We have to, I don't know, like, don't take everything in the general terms. Like, oh yeah, soul trap, mm-hmm, I, like, literally, like, right here, trapped in a little bottle. Like, no. It's even, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's just a different topic, but I guess, like, you know, just, like, understand everything, like, on a broader pers perspective, go on a deeper level and things and stuff. And I'm lucky because, like, I can experience a lot of these things when I'm out of body, which is why I admire it and, like, uh, try to recommend it to as many people as I can. It's, like, one of the best ways for me to learn, to do stuff. And, like, it's not like I'm uh, reading lots of books and, like, finding things out. Like, oh, yeah, I read an article, I'm gonna apply it and stuff. Or, like, I know, now I know how things work. I literally get out of body, find things out, then tell my stories, and people are like, fuck, yeah, there's a book on it, and there's an article, and I'm like, whoa! And, like, I get the confirmation, and it makes my beliefs stronger, or, like, you know, I just, like, uh get a better pair knowing. So, yeah, like, I, I really believe that if everyone here on Earth would be able to get out of body at least once in their lifetime, their perspective and everything else would change. Because it's a whole different game. It's a whole different feeling state. It's nothing like on Earth. When you get out, you understand the sense of freedom. You understand that, like, there are no limitations. That the Earth is just a surface of, like, the, the vast, vast multiverse. It's just, like... <laughs> It's a whole different game, and I wish that more people who were there were able to experience the out-of-body experience. Because, like, astral thing is, is one. Like, you know, you can get out, like, you can do astral projection, astral travel, and stuff like that, but you're playing in astral realms. And there can be, like, you know, upper levels of astral, lower level levels of astral, and stuff like that. But when you get out of body, you go into much more than just astral. And that's why it's much better. So, yeah. If I don't make a video on this, uh, you know, feel free to share, share your thoughts, your experience. You know, I'm just sharing what I learned so far. It's working for me, and my beliefs might not be the best. You don't have to agree with everything I say. You know, feel free to have a different point of view and stuff. I'm just sharing what I think and just sharing what I experienced out there. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the comments. Like, there's a lot of you uh, inspiring me and, and helping me out on my journey. And that's just amazing. Like, Without you, my life would not be as good. So thank you, thank you for being here. And yeah, see you next video. Bye.